back to term six of videos. I hope you had a lovely week off and were able to enjoy some of the wonderful sunshine we've been having and now that the rules have been changed and relaxed slightly hopefully some of you have been able to catch up in person with some friends and family that you might have been missing as well. Just in case you didn't see my video at the end of last term, I am going to be going back to school, not every day, but it means that I'm not going to have as much time at home to be making videos every single day. So this week the videos will be Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and today's video will cover you for Monday and Tuesday's work, and Wednesday's video will cover you for Wednesday and Thursday's work as well. The plan for this term is to move on to start looking at percentages but there's a lot of fractions and decimals involved in percentages and I know that that's still an area of weakness for a lot of you so the plan for the next two weeks is to look at fractions and decimals and hopefully you'll become more confident with them and more secure in your knowledge and then feel more comfortable when we do move on to looking at percentages later on in the term. So with that being said let's get into today's maths lesson. Today's presentation is called Fraction Flower Garden and it might be useful if you've got a whiteboard or a notebook or something to hand as we go through. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be able to multiply proper fractions by whole numbers. You'll be able to show that multiplication is the same as repeated addition. You'll be able to use a fraction diagram to multiply proper fractions by whole numbers and you'll be able to give the answer to a multiplication calculation as a mixed number. So, fraction flowers. Write how many yellow segments there are as a mixed number. So write that down now. And hopefully you got two and a quarter because there are two lots of whole flowers filled in and then one quarter left over quarters because they are divided into four. Next one, how many yellow segments are there here as a mixed number? Hopefully you got that there are three and two thirds. Three holes are filled in and two thirds. Next one, hopefully you saw here that there's one and three fifths filled in, well done if you've got all of these correct so far. This next one, and that is four and one sixth. So multiplying fraction flowers. Multiplying a fraction by a whole number is the same as repeated addition. So we've got here one third times five. And that's the same as adding one third five times, which equals five thirds. So that's an improper fraction. This next one is three quarters times three. So it's three quarters, add three quarters, add three quarters. Three lots of three quarters, which is nine quarters. The answer to this fraction multiplication is an improper fraction. The answer can be written as an equivalent mixed number. So here we've got the same amount of quarters coloured in and nine quarters is two and one quarter, they are equivalents. Two fifths times four is the same as adding two fifths four times, which is eight fifths. If we were to look at that as a mixed number, you can see here that we've got the same amount of fifths coloured in which is eight fifths, which is equivalent to one and three fifths. Investigate it. So let's have a look at the calculations we've completed so far. We've got one third times five, which is five thirds, three quarters times three, which is nine quarters, two fifths times four is eight fifths. What happens to the numerator when you multiply a fraction by a whole number? And what happens to the denominator when you multiply a fraction by a whole number? We multiply the numerator by the whole number. 1 times 5 equals 5. And again here, the numerator 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. 
and this third one, the numerator, 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. We multiply the denominator by 1. 3 times 1 equals 3. 4 times 1 equals 4. And 5 times 1 equals 5. So hopefully this has given you a better understanding of fractions, maybe a bit of revision, and you've got a good understanding of how to complete your activities over the next couple of days. So that's it for today's video. In terms of getting in touch with us, we are still available on the Year 5 email address. Miss Friday and I will be going into school a few days a week, so we might not be able to reply as quickly as we usually would, but Mrs Teague will be working from home as well, so she'll be around to reply to any that we might not be able to get back to straight away. As always, there will be answers for the work down in the description box below. I'll leave today's and tomorrow's work as well, along with the schools and my Twitter accounts and a link to where you can find the work on the school website. That's all from me today and I'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye!